In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Don't ever touch me again, freak. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Hello everyone. Welcome to Life is Strange Episode 3. Um, I wasn't able to save Kate. Apparently you can, so... I don't know how this playthrough is gonna be. But yeah. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Damn. Ew! Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Do I need to look at all these? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy jumped to her death today from the roof of a campus dormitory with most of the students and faculties as horrified witness. 
Witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the victim, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but more information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones record, recorded the tragic event, which included an unidentified student attempting to talk the victim down. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Is there a link? 13, 13, wait, that's 13 years apart, that's 12 years apart, no, that's 13, 14 years apart, and that's 12 years apart, and that's 11 years apart. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. <sighs> too little, too late. Dear Max Caulfield, as you're no doubt aware, Blackwell Academy lost a valued and beloved student this week with the tragic death of Kate Marsh. Everyone who encountered Kate, from faculty to student body, remembered her as a kind, intelligent, and talented person with a bright future. The staff of Blackwell Academy understands the social and academic trauma that comes with a public incident, such as this, and we believe it's vital that we hear directly from the students about their thoughts and concerns. We encourage you to call our 24-hour hotline 1800 Blackwell to speak with a professor, counselor, professional counselor, no matter what your question or situation might be. In other words, Blackwell Academy has your back. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Yep, that's always the case. Matthew 5-4. Request got in pace. What is this Assassin's Creed reference? Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Hope you at least got a source out of this. You're the only one who really cared, Max. Hey, I'd like to interview you when it's convenient. PM me. That chick spider. Oh shit! You dropped her like an egg. Burnt Serpent, Revelations 2010, and the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also... Burn. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh shit, that's Kate's rabbit. Oh, I'm taking care of it now. Timetable. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. What was it? Uh... Wow. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Before I leave? Oh my god, that's so much. Chloe? Somebody better. Wait, what? Alright. Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. Illegal in Oregon, for now. Fuck that shit, elope. Sorry about Kate, I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Hey Max, just thinking about you. You want me to leave you alone? Wrecked, shaking with nerves. I'm sorry. But you did what nobody else would. So I hear. At least I got Nathan Prescott suspended. Dude, you're a boss. Listen, something weird and scary is going on in Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together, cool? I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Okay. I'm 
is these two. Okay. That's like a trophy. A squirrel with the fireflies. this oh max please call us as soon as you can we know this is painful and we want you to we want to know how you are so please get in touch and if you want to come and spend some time back home the door is open and your bed is made we love you i'll call you right away love you you're so good to hear your voice remember what we talked about you were there for your friend when no she had nobody else and kate made her own choice nobody could expect more than what you did you're our hero and we love you so much maxine call us anytime if you need to talk or visit Warren hey Max don't want to bother you just checking in to see how you are I know today was hard but you did more than anybody else could have to help Kate I'm proud of you and please no worries about going to the drive-in but if you want to escape to a planet of the apes let's go and if you need to talk I'm always here thanks Warren I'm still processing Nathan got suspended at least I'll call you later okay Private number. Hey whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Okay, I read this one. Speaking of expectations, David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little. And for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. He is a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me. But all the shit he's pulled at treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along. But I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened as if everything happening is in Bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, Oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something. So what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walked into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal, unreal, asshole bookends. Kate Marsh killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class. Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her, like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than ever I ever did and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. I failed. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. Besides, she didn't believe me. Or maybe she just didn't want to. I tried. Kate still died. It was like that cliche about everything moving in slow motion, except in my case it was real time. Not rewind time. I could see Kate's face right as she jumped and I'll never forget that look in her eyes. Like she didn't want to, but she had no choice. It was a look of total defeat and despair. And I could see her body flailing in space like she became aware of what she was doing and got more scared. Jesus, I can't believe I'm writing these words. After she jumped, it was so weird that I was alone on the roof. Kate was there, then gone. I could hear the crowd screaming below and there was no way I was going to look at her body on the ground. I felt so numb. I just casually turned and went back down the stairs. My head was pounding and my body was exhausted from the rewind. I felt exactly like a zombie must feel, dead inside. When I stepped out of the dorm, I saw Kate splayed on the ground. She was surrounded by paramedics while the police kept the students back. I hope they all got a good look at their victim. They wanted to watch her on a viral video when she was alive and now they wanted to gawk at her in death. Now that, not that I did anything to help her stay alive. All my amazing new superpowers were worthless. 
I'm nobody's hero. It's not enough that Kate is dead and I'm numb inside. I had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate jumped off the roof. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk knowing he had something to do with Kate's suicide. I thought about doing it, then flipped a quick rewind, but I knew that would be, a start of a, be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt his, this would happen to our Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. There'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which it could be if I'm not careful. I need a vacation for my life. I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me I did everything I could for Kate, even though I know I didn't. I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims, not to mention me, if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have told Warren about my power, but it's not the right time, no pun intended. To make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh god, it's so scary. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. What is it? Are I we hope Kate angel? finally has her wings now. Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? Kerovac in memory of Kate Marsh. Kerovac? Kerovac? So much hypocrite. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth and somebody pays for this. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Let's blame and then switch to comfort. You should believe it. She jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I already told you that my mom is in the hospital. I'm done for the day. Hey, Max. I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? 
I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital. Yeah. But Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hey, Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Hmm. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Oh, really? Um... Hey, Max? Too. Dana's really hurting over this. Stella, what about you? Why you not pick up my calls? That's a meme. <laughs> That's the meme face. Hey, Dana. You good? Oh, we got you. Aww, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how shitty it was to see Kate jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you were a good friend to her. And I wish she had more friends like you. You've been so good for me. When everything else is so fucked up. And I'm here for you always. I miss you. Trev, thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate jump and feel like I could have done more to save her. Even Max Coffee did more than anybody to try to save Kate. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you're just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight, Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Who is Dana? Oh, wait, no, uh, who's Juliet? Dina, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk, up, let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more, find out more about Kate, but I'm kind of still in shock and mourning. I don't think you'll get too many answers as soon after what happened. So soon after what happened, and maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Oh, there's the picture. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh wait, isn't that the picture? It's like a trophy. It's like a trophy. Maybe that's in Victoria's room. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Ah, uh, same dialogues. Guess there's nothing else. Hey Dana, what's up? Hey Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault too. I don't blame one single person, there were a lot of factors, but yeah. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. It doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. 
Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Point I talk to her. Hey Dana. I just can't. Let's blame Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Because Victoria was still going to torture Kate with that video. I know. Kate could have blown it off, but she was too damn nice and innocent. Dana, there's more to this than just Victor. So what exactly are you saying? You think this has- I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria bounce. Not me. Okay. I can leave, but I can also go to Victoria's room. Can I? Yes. Let's turn the light. Since on. I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused, not like she's partying. Okay. Victoria is about as street as me, but she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right, thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Excellent. Well researched essay with unique point of view. That's all. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. $30. Victoria's spider. secret. She's a geek. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show. I've never seen the campus go so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying. I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. V. From Taylor. I'm sorry too, Victoria. I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink, stat. Let me know the time. 
sweetie. Is this like a thread for sociopaths? Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan. The Twimo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. From Victoria. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way Blackwell can suspend you. I knew that Max was troubled for the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble. And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll, I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Okay, is she still there? She's still there. I like really do need to get some sleep, Max. Okay. the fuck all right time to sneak out so Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall Jesus I still can't believe she jumped Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Oh, there's the squirrel. No. How do I? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Max? Yes, Chloe, I'm coming. Just to get some more pictures. to take a picture oh it's unlocked I hope Samuel wasn't around nothing but tools nothing here I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves so who does Samuel sus. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Mm. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. 
at all. What's the next picture? 41 already? Wow. Uh, aquarium. October 9th. Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab K. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be or my dreams of being a respected globe hopping photographer or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do? Which means blowing off my black belt homework to research everything I can I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber and the esteemed press gods. It would be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scientific or apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I can still see Kate and her sad, hopeless eyes on that roof. Can't believe she's not here anymore. I heard some students are organizing a petition for Blackwell to set up a scholarship in her memory. That's the least this, this place could do for her. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And like I give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would like, like all the publicity. I doubt the tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon, not yet anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just, me, this just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony. Like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow and that eclipse just hallucinations or are they genuine pro prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side and that has to be a miracle. Which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I steadily make my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it just popped up right after she died, like everybody at Blackwell suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I'm glad that so many people wanted to honor her. The cynical side of me says, so little, way too fucking late. But I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all. Ah, <sighs> cry. Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I, I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside, get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Okay, just wanted to see the dialogue and what happens if I get caught. Not yet, anyway. 
And the smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this mystery. Great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Right, I need to be right here. Go all the way back. Oh, great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Gotcha. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Max the ninja strikes again. These keys are all broke. What's the next picture? Aquarium, right? What the fuck? Get no. it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos Theory? Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Mm. Kate. Kate is recent. Rachel is six months. It's gonna be easier to find Kate's... Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad okay. you're my partner in crime. I'm as long as you're my partner in crime, not to get caught. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Jesus. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? 
I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? Oh, I'm going God. to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Huh. If only you had rewind powers. Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I feel like it's gonna be some sexy pose of her or something. Oof, okay. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Ah, uh, this is what the trailer was showing at the end of last episode. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. <laughs> I'm serious. We could go to jail. Oh. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. They can't charge us for entering. Oh god, it's so... So weird. Like... The huge buildings like malls and schools and whatnot. When they're empty at night, they're fucking terrifying. What's happening? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay, then. Let's look for the key. Pigeonholes, anything? Nothing here. Okay. I don't want to go that way. No, I wasn't trying to go out. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? 
Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Chloe's like weird. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay. Anything else to look at here? Oh, something here. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Oh, that's sugar. Ooh, sugar. Now pay attention, 007, you have to find four objects, sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Here's how you'll do it. Any questions? What the fuck? It's just the powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. I guess, uh, burn the sugar? No, wait. Take sodium chlorate, take the duct tape, wrap it around the soda can, put those two inside and burn. It's like an, it's like a tiny explosive. Only three more items to go. Okay. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Trash can it is. What do you know? Trash. Oh, wow. Well. Gee, thanks. Uh, next stop is vending machine. Release the crack can. Wow, wow, Max, nice pun. It's all mine anyway. Okay, we got the soda can. You're halfway home, Max. Need duct tape. You still there? Did you blow up, Max? Still here? Did it blow up? Not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Okay, um... First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There's no duct tape here. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Okay. The signs. That's my locker, right? Oh, Kate's locker. <gasps> oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Oh, I thought I would be able to open it. Wait, this is classroom. Anybody in here? This is like a scene in a horror film. Yep, it's exactly what I said. I feel gross pictures. even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. What is photos? Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. That's Kate's photo. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Oh, damn. Is that a doctor? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Duct tape. The tape is mine. Yay. 
only one more ingredient left. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Science book. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Okay, but how does it matter? Chemistry stuff. No, this mixture doth not work. Graffiti? I never said they were great, troll. I had sex with your mom, it says on the side. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Turn on. Good evening, fish fish. Hey, hello. Let's get that picture. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Max, please resume your slumber. Next is cigarette equals death. the sodium chlorate whittler here's the sodium chlorate box oh that's a cigarette nice next we got bird with a medal bird statue I guess I'm not gonna read this just yet. Take. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is oh, so cool! God. Get ready to haul ass. That's not gonna be a small explosive. Explosion. <laughs> yep. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Uh, let's run in and see what I can find. What can I find here? Is the computer? No? What if I just rewind? Oh, I'm gonna unlock on her. <gasps> That's gonna be insane. She's gonna freak out. No way. Oh. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Yo, let's the go. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. 
He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. First things first, then you take a picture. You're not so tacky up close. Oh, I need to put something on it. What did Warren say? So, did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Ha! That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it's my glad, happy, for fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school, school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Petition. Uh, wait, the picture, it's got this thing on its neck. Look at this pile. If Tumbleweeds. Search everything. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contribution to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you. Sean Prescott What a bitch. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott, address... I can't read that. August 29, 1995, Arcadia Bay. Uh, the home phone... GPA 3.7. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Ah, <sighs> Maxine Caulfield, September 21st, 1995. Who's older? Ah. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has knowledge, acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update: Despite some recent confrontation with, Maxwell, uh, with Blackwell security, Max tried to un unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. Oh, damn. So if I saved her, this would reflect This that. file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. 
Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also received high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren has a 4.0 GPA. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Only two more files to go. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will, clear all of her, will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with student or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> 1.7 Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and an administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Police reports? That's two. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. The whiskey bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Mm. Yeah, turn on the lamp. There we go. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. 3.9 GPA Brief summary Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay 7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate, Mar Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she does not under duress from she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Barenci. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. I 
think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. But how do I take a picture of this? You're not so tacky up close. Looks like an oil painting's bill. Awful. Mm. There's got to be a super secret file. Don't want to continue just yet. Oh man. You're not so tacky up close. Mm, the same. Evan it. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Alright, this is that. Bad Chloe. There's nothing else left. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers <laughs> of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should <laughs> definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Uh, I'm gonna have to decide whether to take the money or not. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Yep, there it is, I knew it. Fuck. Fuck it. I would steal the money. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. You're not so tacky up close. No, but that locket, that, that was what Chloe was wearing. Oh no. How do I get? Oh man, I tried.
Was I supposed to wait? I really want that picture. Have three files. Max, you better. Nathan accuses Rachel of. Ah. Frank. No I can't go back. Yeah. That's too far back. No. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. No. We're Chloe. done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So, splish splash. You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Oh, all right then. This is where I'm gonna end it. Because I feel like... The next part is going to be a little more intense and I do not have the time to continue playing for now. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.